Hello from Tokyo! So today I'm going to use up some of these paints, the reds and oranges I think I'll use. They're thin as you can see there and I'll be doing a swipe with uh, Amsterdam Oxide Black and Australian Floetrol. I had to order this from Australia so it's not cheap but you only use a tiny bit and I'll be using one of these implements for the swipe. So I've decided to use one or two of those metallic colors. I will list everything in the description box below as always. And for my base I'm using a mix of Titanium White by Montmartre and Titanium White by Amsterdam. It's quite thin as always. After adding some paint to the sides as well, I'm going to give it a quick torch to pop any air bubbles and then it's time to lay down the paints. So I'm going to add that cell activator to this implement which I actually bought from a flea market. I think it was something to do with making tea. Um, it was about two dollars. Anyway, here I go with the swipe. I'm going to see if it'll stretch out at all. So I have tried this technique about four times now with different glues as pouring medium and it's not worked very well. So this is an experiment again today to see if it will hold. Um, I think it works better if you're just using Floetrol and no glue in your pouring medium, but I'm gonna give it a go anyway. If it doesn't work out, I will try a different technique on top of this. So here goes with swipe number two and as you can see almost immediately I've pressed far too hard down on that. So I've heard some artists say, I can't remember who it was, but they were saying that um, they use their less dominant hand for this. I wonder if that helps. Anyway, here we go with adding some more colors and we'll try the swipe again. So this is stretching out, but the paint is moving very slowly, so I'm wondering if it needs to be even thinner in consistency. Um, I know my pouring medium was probably not the best for it, however, both US and Australian Floetrol is highly pricey to get in Japan where I'm based, so I'm going to keep on searching for glues. See, it's stretched out nicely there, um, but I do feel like the white is reacting strangely now, the more I stretch it out and the more time I leave. Saying that, I feel that this composition might work just as it is, as an abstract painting with a lot of white negative space. It's quite pretty as it is, so 
Um, I did carry on because I wanted to try some other things with it. I started to go a little bit too far with the blowing out, but I didn't like all the kind of the black parts there. Um, so I was trying to figure out how to kind of disguise those. But anyway, I went a little bit far with this. So I decided to try a different technique on top of this. The technique I decided on was the bloom technique where you put the cell activator on top and then blow directly on top of it like this and you get a kind of floral design which was really cool because i wasn't that excited by the result of the swipes at this point although looking back it looked fine um i decide to do more of these um, blooms and just experiment you know see if i like it if not i'll do another technique the balloon comes out I wanted to see what it would look like to smash on the lacing created by the um, Australian flow troll and oxide black by Amsterdam the cell activator this is actually my first time ever to do these blooms where you put the activator on top I've never tried that before so I'm just having a look so every time you try a new technique the canvas can start to go a little bit crazy and you know you kind of worry about what's going on but the process is really enjoyable and you can get new ideas for your next painting or the next time you want to try the technique you know it's there's always a first time for everything i find there's some sort of soothing satisfaction every time i lift the balloon and see what's underneath it um, I don't know, it's very peaceful for me. So I like to also do this in silence and um, it's kind of like a meditation. So I'm going to stay quiet until the end of the video. Speak to you then.
always try to fix the middle of the painting by adding some paint to my finger and dabbing but I won't show the whole process as it takes a long time. So let's have a look at the wet finish of the painting. Can you see it? Like a female form there? Let's have a closer look. So there's the swipe. It looks pretty good, I think. The jaggedness is a bit odd, but still, it looks good. And the colors over here are lovely. They are kind of autumnal or fall. Um, really pretty. Although I'm loving it in that upright position, having a look at it from different angles. I'm excited to try that swipe again, maybe with different colors next time. But let's have a look at the dried finish. And here you can definitely see the female form with the face there and maybe a decorative flower there and the body and the hair. And then down there, maybe a pregnancy bump and then the bottom and the wiggly thing could be an arm. I'm not sure if I did it again, I would have to rethink that. But it has given me an idea to try and do this sim you know, similar kind of thing on a larger canvas. The colors are so good in this. I even love that kind of pale gray and pale beige that's happened over there from double and triple smashing. Really, really lovely colors. And yeah, each individual flower I'm loving in this case. So it turned into something completely different to what I was starting off with in mind, but I am very happy with it. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Bye.